This is the next bit of the um, kitchen. Are we ready? I'm just making a uh, cover to go over that boiler corner there. Now I've used some clever dick in the past because um, getting these complicated shapes like that to go around there is not easy, you know. I put some I put some wood in there, like to uh, that's the back support, and also up here, which is exactly the same thickness as this board here. I did an initial cut and I cut it way too short. I had to re-glue it back on again. And I've just cut a little nick out for the top there. My finger, top up there. Fingers are grubby as anything. Anyway, um, glued that back on again. I've, had to, I've, re just, I've just planed it to fit into this section here. I wanted to get access to it so I can get it out again. I'm going to have to put another one of these up there somewhere so I've got some back support for it and so I can take it out again. Getting it in is not that easy because it's a tight, it's a tight spot. Uh, but I'll try it live to see if I can do it for you. Sorry about this camera work, it's absolutely horrendous. I do apologise. Just on my phone, I ain't got all I ain't got all the polar posh stuff. There we are, let's try that. This section here is hopefully gonna go into that section there. There's a bit of fiddling and a bit of fettling. I've cleaned it down enough hopefully. Oh my god. Now I've just just playing that right I thought I'd marry it up and try it that's fitting perfect isn't it it's backed onto that nicely like so wow that doesn't happen very often does it goes straight in yeah that's good it's quite a nice fit let's fit around there look Let's fit down there. That's not quite on, but I can feel that with some chalk or some cork or whatever you call it. I can tile over that now, but I'm going to leave this this gap here, um, so I can just access. I keep saying it, like saying things over, and I can access the boiler. That's what that's for. Some clever person in the past had already made that in that corner so I've got a template off that a template off that I'll just draw around it and I I had another I had a shelving system there which I used as a template as well so I've I think I'm about to drill an event hole in there somewhere but I'm going to put a cupboard in this corner. I've decided there's a 300 mil by 600 mil corner cupboard I'm going to put on that board there, so I can pull the whole lot off and to access that boiler. Five to six in the evening. Um, no rain today. It's a beautiful sunny day. You can't see that water, but the water is very, very. Let's look out the out the door. Very fast still. We've been told by the CRT. No moon out tonight. That we're going to be here another two weeks. I've already been here for three weeks. This is Oxford on the Thames, right in the city centre. It's a lovely place to stay. I really, don't, I really don't mind. It's a free mooring for me. Normally I pay five pound a night to moor here. Right in the centre. It's fantastic. Right near a Wicks and right near Halfords and all those cracking the tile shop, the carpet shop, and everything. So I want to get all done while I'm here. Now I'm really pleased with that fit. Really pleased with that fit. That can just stay there now. It's a, it was quite drafty from that vent behind, but there is it does vent that that um, the whole boiler system anyway. 
So I don't know if I need that on there or not. I'm not I'm really not sure what the legality of this is. Well, why would I need to vent it into here when you've got a vent going outside? I don't think you do need a vent, to be honest. I'm going to leave it. Do some checks on it. I've done the kickboard down here. I've done the kickboard. To the back there, along there. It's very smart. I've all got, I've got to the floor yet, uh, but it's coming on. We're getting there. Kitchen's perfectly usable. Everything seems to work. Um, I've just silicon sealed all around there with clear silicon sealer. Unfortunately, I couldn't get that quite as flat as I wanted. Access is very, very difficult for the edge of this to get to the edge of this. But I've got a clip here and a clip there, and it's just this just will go down. Might because of this, I'm not sure. Um, that's all sealed up. I'm going to silicon seal with clear seal of these sections here because this stuff gets underneath. I don't like them, but nothing else can do about it. It is what it is. Um, so there we are. That's another exciting episode in the life. My narrowboat kitchen refit. If anybody's watching this, thanks for watching. And please don't feel sorry for me. This is the life that I do enjoy. Um, I do like doing this kind of stuff. If I've got plenty of time, I'm not under a lot of pressure. But if, if, when you get a nice result, then I, it is fantastic. When you get a nice fit like that, you know, it's a real buzz. I spent ages marking that out, cutting it. I, used to, I had to go and buy a, a special um, saw, coping saw, is it? I think it is. To go around corner a little tiny thin blade so i could do all those weird shapes that was about seven quid and a little bit i've got to paint this this wall tonight that's why i've masked it all off i'm going to give that an undercoat and then a top coat tomorrow this light keeps coming out i've got to do sort those clips out yeah that's so annoying that clips have come off i think on it um yeah there's clips there look they're not the neatest hole in the world is it those clips should push like that and hold the whole light in which it doesn't no, I do. like so I like led lights i'll put leds in these um which are really are quite bright maybe it's very little that is not a very nice job there that is not very nice at all let's try it around there a little bit let's try it around that way go on baby up we go Ugh. it points in the right direction that's going to fall out in a minute there is a bar underneath this light there is a, a cross member a metal cross member that you just can't get this light in properly and it just keeps popping out it's so annoying i can't move it but uh, there we are so far and thank you for watching